Breaking news at 5 o'clock with a bizarre turn of events. A High Point 911 operator, who is also the wife of a High Point police officer, is now charged with setting her own house on fire on purpose. That fire destroyed her family's Thomasville home and killed their two pets. After news broke earlier this week about the devastating fire, the community came together showing their support for the first responder family. Now, Teresa Varner is facing several felony charges, including arson, and we just learned she has posted bond. Investigators say in no way her husband, High Point Police Officer Jason Kano, is linked to the crime. They say he had no knowledge before or after the fire. Kano and the couple's nine-year-old son is currently living with family and is receiving support for the High Point Police Department. WFMY News 2's Giselle Thomas was there for the suspect's first court appearance. Giselle, did she have anything to say in court? Now, Teresa Varner had nothing to say in court and she let her attorney do the talking for her. Now she, her husband and her parents were there for her in court and we just learned that she just posted an $8,000 bond just moments ago. Now Varner is a 911 operator for the city of High Point, a job that she's worked for more than a decade. Tonight though, she's on paid or administrative leave. Now she's accused of starting a fire at this home on Gray Street in Thomasville early Wednesday morning, and she shared that home with her husband, a High Point police officer and their nine year old son. Now she's charged with arson, among other things, and the family dog and cat died in the fire. The two neighboring houses were damaged in the flames. Now the community here has rallied around this family with so much support after the fire on Wednesday and if convicted, Varner could face nearly 50 years in prison. Now today her lawyer said that she is not a flight risk and that she is cooperating with police. Stick with us for updates live in Davidson County. Giselle Thomas, WFMY News 2. Giselle, thank you. Well, this is a clip of the suspect, Teresa Varner, in a promotional video highlighting High Point 911 operators. The city released this video last year. Many described her this week as a calming voice in emergency situations. She's been working there for 11 years. She is now on paid administrative leave as the investigation continues. Meantime, the High Point Police Department put a hold on a gift card drive for the family. In light of the arrest, Chief Curtis Cheeks released this statement today saying, quote, they paused the gift card drive Anyone with questions up about previous donations dropped off at the police department can call 336-887-7805 for assistance. The department started this drive to help the family right after the fire and the response was tremendous. Again, investigators stressed that the officer was not involved.